What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pace Studios here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City. We are broadcasting live from the Manhattan Center here on 34th Street, and we are here with a very special guest right now. This, of course, is Mr. David Duchovny. How's it going, man? It's going great. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thanks Us. so much for coming and playing. Right. Um, we're excited to hear a bunch of songs it's our today. Pleasure, isn't it? Our mm-hmm. pleasure. It's everyone's pleasure. Yeah. Everyone's On this pleasure. side, it's all of our pleasure as well. All five of you. Yeah, all five of us. Right. Okay. So we're outnumbered <laughs> by the band. You yeah. know. If we if we're gonna have a rumble, the band against the audience. Yeah, yeah. Well, you guys have like, we- like you're you're like all holding odds. weapons, which is not I like fair. Our odds. Yeah. We're gonna do the the first song from the album. It's the name of the album. Is it? All right. So we like yeah, well, say, well, I'm gonna the say eponymous the, song. The uh, the new album. Uh, it's a second album. It's called yeah. Every Third Thought. Uh, yeah. Comes out February 9th. Uh, all these songs we're going to hear today are from the new record. From every so, third thought. Uh, what's the first one we're going to do? The first song is uh, Every Third Thought, believe <laughs> it or not. Simple enough. Yeah, easy to remember. All right. thought on the future and the past all these thoughts on things that don't last every second thought on what's false and true every third thought on you every third thought on like colors fade to blue every second all feels barred and untrue every third thought on you every third thought on If you don't know the cost Every second thought just feels like a clue to Every third thought on
Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You sounded at least like ten people. Really? Yeah. Well, we we have that down. We <laughs> yeah. we have mastered the smattering of applause. <laughs> Um, we're smatterers. Um, smatterers. So uh, tell me a little bit about, a bit about this record. Uh, yeah. It's your second. Yeah. And I know the first one came out just a couple of years ago. It came yeah. out in 2015. Yeah. And it's not like you've been not up to much otherwise. Right. You've written right. Right. two books. Uh, I think there's another one on the way. Is that right? Yeah, another, third one another, in May. Another third book. Miss Subways, yeah. Um, and, of course, there's the X-Files reboot. Right. Uh, what is it, you know, you don't, you obviously What's wrong make most of your, you make the most of your time. Yeah. Uh, but why write songs? What, well, we what were, is it we were about songwriting? We were working on this first album for 55 years. Uh, right, so, and so yeah. the follow-up so just that sort was of really, came right yeah, out? The first album was like, we were all working on it together for about 55 years. Is that right? Yeah, yeah you guys look amazing. You know, they always say <laughs> it takes 55 years for the first album. And yeah, then, and then like 18 months. For the second album. For the second, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's just like uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to collaborate with these musicians behind me. And, uh, you know, I, I can I can have ideas that they'll fly with and, you know, we can work together as opposed to having the huge machinery of TV or movie making that takes all that time and momentum. Yeah. We can kind of just float around and, and get our work done as we get it done. Yeah, cool. These guys have all side projects and stuff like that as so well. So how does it how does it work? Like you 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 have the sort of the germ of the idea of a song. You have lyrics. Uh, you have a melody. You play you play a little guitar. A little you know? bit. I play a very small guitar. A, sm a little guitar, like well, yeah. sort of like the world's smallest yeah, violin kind I do. of thing. Yeah. Um, and so you bring an idea uh, to these uh, fellows. It can work and like it that. It can work out. like that. It probably works like that more than it doesn't work like that. But uh, we're actually going to do the last song that we do. Marble Sun was written by Colin. And, and a little by myself. So uh, these guys were all writers. They all write songs. So we kind of, it's a, more of a collaboration than the first album. Yeah. How'd you find these guys? Uh, was it Craigslist? I, I can't remember. What <laughs> yeah, was you it? know, I, 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 was, I thought you were going to say eHarmony. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was J-Date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I didn't spot him first in that case. <laughs> um but so, like, in terms of, uh, you know, these these guys, yeah. um, what was, you know, these, this is obviously like a, a crack band you've yeah. got behind you. Yeah. Um, so, like, how does this, how does this come together? Was this around 2015? You uh, sort of 2014, 2015? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brad Davidson, who's, who's, who's uh, shepherding this entire enterprise, he knew all these guys, and he knew they were great musicians, and he wanted to put me with uh, people that would... Uh, you know, support me and, and work with me and collaborate with me. And uh, he just made a really good choice in this case. And then they all have their different stories of how they know each other. But right. I, I don't want to get into that. Yeah, right no, now. we're not going to get into that. No. Um, let's, uh, well, we, I want to talk more about uh, this record. Uh, but let's, let's do another song first. Tell me a little bit about this next uh, one. We're going to do Half Life. Uh, Half Life is, uh, well, it's a song about how science can help you to know yourself. Sweet. Should, should feel like medicine. Love the case Only for 
Thank you guys science science yeah so tell me uh you know so that song is about science <laughs> um the story of science in three minutes well it, it was just i guess through my my i'm terrible at science and math but i picked up a few things just going through edu being educated and um you know i'd heard about the radioactive decay half-life business and it just it just stuck in my head and it struck me at some point as being uh, an interesting way to talk about uh, life and love, you know, yeah. that, that everything decays and gets older and degrades and moves towards chaos. And then, you know, using these kinds of uh, terms in order to discuss uh, life and love seemed very cheerful. Yeah, yeah, cheerful and cheerful. poppy, you know, poppy, pop music. Poppy. Um, but, you know, in terms of, like, uh, thinking about these things and expressing them in an artistic way, you know, you have lots of outlets. We were talking about them before. Most yeah. people know them. Um, you know, when you have an idea like that, do you think to yourself like a three? Is it a movie? Is a it a movie? Yeah, or right. is it? A, a three-minute pop song yeah. is the is the right vehicle yeah. to express that thought yeah. that I've had. Is that that's something that you sort of like? Absolutely. This is a song. This is a story. Right. This is a movie. Yeah. This is shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Right. Um, I mean, you know, ideas announce themselves in certain ways, and sometimes they transform into other media if I have the opportunity to take it to other media or whatever. But, I mean, Half-Life to me was a, uh, an idea or a perception that, yes, it seemed like I could take three minutes to kind of work that out. Was that something that sort of led you to songwriting late in life as you, as well, you came to it? Well, I'd written poetry. Like, yeah. for, that was probably the first writing that I did as a kid or, you know, like as a high school kid writing poetry and then I was always kind of perplexed at lyrics that they could be uh, amazing at a song but kind of dead on a page and I wondered what the magic was there yeah. so I was always kind of interested in seeing how music transformed fairly mundane lyrics into being beautiful lyrics yeah um, and in your case were these were things like when you were younger you never thought I want to try to put these words to music? No, because I wasn't a musician, and I didn't sing, and I, I, I didn't play an instrument, so I just thought music is not something that I'm going to be part of, really, except as a fan or as a listener. Yeah, and here we are. Here we are. You finally reached the mountaintop. Yeah, you know, and all I had to do was go on J-Date. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Again, I There's a believe, lesson there somewhere. I can't believe I missed you. Uh, so um, we're going to do a couple more from Every Third Thought. Uh, tell us a little bit about this next one you're going to do. Uh, this is Stranger in the Sacred Heart. Uh, this, uh, this is a very personal song. This came from uh, when we were touring in Europe uh, last year, and we were in Paris, and my father, who died about 10 years ago, died in Paris. He moved to Paris uh, as an older man. And um, I was just feeling that, because I hadn't seen him for so long. And I didn't see him for a while before he died either, so I was feeling that while I was in Paris. And then... I was staying near this church called the Sacre Coeur, which uh, we went to visit. And um, I was told that at that church, people uh, pray for uh, others. They don't pray for themselves or even their family members. They kind of pray in general for humanity. And I thought that was a beautiful spirit. And I just, it, those two kind of things came together for the song.
that's how to mend your heart Playing someone else's part The nameless in their rows Pray for people they don't know To strangers in the sacred heart Stranger in the sacred heart <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I want to ask you about uh, the last thing what we haven't really talked about yet is the the music on this album. Um, as opposed to the last one, uh, Hell or High Water had a kind of a, a I think a folkier sort of a feel, mm -hmm. um, a little bit more roots music. Mm -hmm. This one, especially on Half Life, starts with that sort of screaming guitar squawk. Um, very, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, more more kind of hard rock, more alt rock, indie. I mean, were yeah. you were you trying to make a move, or is this sort of just how the songs come out? Is how they come out? Well, both. I mean, I think it, it's a it's a product of the fact that we're collaborating more and uh i think we're we're freer with one another i think in the first album you know i think they were just trying to execute whatever it is i thought i was doing um and in this album as we've gotten to know each other as a band and as people everybody's much more comfortable kind of throwing their stuff out there and i'm more comfortable saying you know i i hear this kind of sound in my head i don't know how to get it but i hear it yeah and these guys can execute that and they're more comfortable saying what you did just there is terrible here's something else that right. might work yeah was there was there a lot of you know them saying this is a sound that could really work and uh and you sort of going with that I don't rather know. than vice versa is there, uh, it, it's kind of both uh, yeah. both what, what would you say we like listen to music together as yeah well. like yeah listen to records and get on the same page about we, what we all thought was a good direction. Well, I, I have I have tastes that are informed like way before theirs and yeah. they have tastes that they can they have stuff that I've never heard. So Were there any were there any kind of meeting points in yeah, the, a lot in the of studio them. A lot in, of in particular them. like um, things that were really like sign guideposts or any anything that really stood out? Well, I would say like I hear this as a Bowie song or I hear this as a Fleetwood Mac song or what else do we know? We're like, down with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, on the first song, I was noticing, like, in the guitar, I was a little bit of Mac DeMarco with, like, a sort of a chorus effect and uh, noodling up top. I don't know. That's yeah. what it struck me as maybe a, a, sure. a bit of an influence on this one. Yeah, just kind of, like, little delicate kind of sounds. That yeah. Feel like is always something we welcome in the, in the mix of, of the band. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, and so as far as, like, influences, uh, you were kind of, developing as you go in this in this for this yeah. record well my influence is uh because i i come at it more as a like an intuitive fan and less as a as a schooled musician i will you know it'll just come out in a certain way sounds that i like and then i'll realize oh that kind of sounds like yeah that right right i don't set out to imitate anybody because I'm, I'm not that good enough to do it but did you set out to make a different sounding record this time than last well sure i mean happens? i just wanted yeah we wanted to explore other directions yeah um and collaborate more yeah cool um so i think we're gonna do uh one more one from more every third thought yeah this what's is, this one this is called marble sun and and this was written by colin and uh who else you and pat and mitch and you yeah. all of us let's say all of us this was written by us all right
Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so uh, everyone, you know who this is. This is David Duchovny and company. Uh, Marble Sun. Marble Sun behind me. Marble Sun. This is Mar the band is Marble Sun. I guess so. <laughs> is that is that? You just think of that right now. No. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, uh, all of these guys collectively have a new album out. It's called Every Third Thought. Uh, it's coming out on February 9th, actually, so it's on the way. Yeah. Um, it's your second record by uh, David Duchovny. The first one was Hell or High Water in 2015. Uh, I know there is a website, <coughs> davidduchovnymusic.com. You're, you're starting out on the road in uh, New Zealand and Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, any, uh, any plans to come back around this way? Yeah, I mean, eventually. Uh, we don't have a tour planned in the States, but I, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, so, uh, everyone, the album is Every Third Thought. Uh, it's coming around uh, February 9th. You can find music and tour dates and all kinds of other good stuff at Dave du David Duchovny Music com. Um, so, man, thank you so much. Thank you. For coming to Pace and playing in our, in our, in our black box today. <laughs> yeah, it was a pleasure. Yeah, uh, pleasure was ours. Please come back and, and play for us again, all right? Oh, we will. All right, great. Thanks.